everybody, it is Joshua and I am in Minneapolis, Minnesota and we're gonna go geocaching, but not just any geocaching, we're gonna go geo-biking. I don't know if you realize this, but Minneapolis is one of the best, if not the best place for biking in the Twin Cities. It's one of the best cities to bike. One of the reasons it's a great place to bike is because there is a bike program called Nice Ride. Over here are a bunch of bikes that you can check out. And if you check it out and return it in a half hour, it's absolutely free. There's a ton of these stations all around the Twin Cities, so we're gonna check out one of these bikes, we're gonna find some geocaches, we're gonna find another docking station, exchange the bike, We are at our stop to our geocache and we found an area where there's a regular one. We've parked our nice ride bikes and we've had a nice ride so far, but now we gotta find a geocache. And we're in the woods and it's spring and it's beautiful and we're about 130 feet away. Let's go find it. I think I spotted the geocache. I'm excited. Dun, 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 dun. There we are. It is a large peanut butter jar and I'm excited because this is regular size and regular size means I can drop a trackable in it and I'm gonna do just that. So I found the cache and I'm excited because I'm going to drop a geocoin that I got from cashboxstore.com and it is a little bit related to today. It is a bicycle geocoin. How cool is that? And it even has like moving wheels on it, you see that? That is so cool. I'm gonna drop that in this cache. I'm gonna give you a few pro tips on how to make sure that your geocoin survives out in the wild. One of the things you can do when you drop a geocoin is make sure you have a little plastic container on it to make sure it doesn't get all scratched up. Also, on here I wrote a little note that says, do not keep log and move on. And then a second part of my protection is that I put my geocoins in a little Altoid container that says, geocoin holder. That is another way it can be protected and kind of contain it and maybe people will notice it when they find it in the cache. So we're gonna put that in the cache and wish this awesome bicycle geocoin farewell. And if you're interested in this geocoin or any other types of geocoins, make sure you check out cashboxstore.com. All the information about this geocoin and a whole bunch of other stuff is in the description below. All right guys, let's drop this coin and let's move on. Guys, one of the cool things about geocaching is the things you see. And guess what? As we're out here looking for the geocache, we find a deer in the middle of the city in this little woods. The thing isn't afraid of anything because it lives in a loud city. Let's see how close we can get to the deer. The things you find geocaching. Check out what Jonah found while we were geocaching. A nice pair of little sunglasses. Perfect for a sunny day. We're coming upon one of the most popular virtuals in all of the Minneapolis area right now. It is a little, tiny, cute, little troll house. I think Dove found it, little troll house. Let's see it. Oh, wait. Look at, there it is. A little troll house. So this is actually a virtual geocache, so people can log in on geocaching.com. What do you got there? I wrote a poem. Oh, it's a little letter. They made a little swing for the troll. Whee! All right guys, that was a lot of fun. Now we're gonna block our bikes up. It was the best 12 bucks I've spent in a long time. 